I graduated from Granite City High School in 2003 and I had played soccer in high school so I uh, played soccer and went to school at McKendree University. I majored in psychology and history, had some good history uh, teachers at Granite and so um, went on to, to do that at McKendree and um, had always enjoyed government and, and like I said history type courses so I uh, went to law school at St. Louis University and um, graduated from there and then became a lawyer and have been practicing for the last, I think, 11 years. I am a civil litigation attorney, so I am um, in the area of personal injury, so I represent people who get hurt in all kinds of different ways. The thing I enjoy most about being a lawyer is whenever a, I, I feel like a, a case is coming to a close and I've really been able to help someone get through a really hard time in their life. Having a client that you've been through a lot with and then they see some closure. They're never made whole. It's never okay. You know, they wish it would had never happened. That I've helped them in some way get through a really hard time in their life is is the best part of, of doing what I do. The Women's Justice Awards is just an amazing event that, that um, is put on every year, and so I was really honored to be acknowledged with so many other women who um, are also um, advocating for. Um, those in need and and really um, moving you know moving the needle forward in terms of justice. I was very you know surprised and honored to get that award and um, it it felt like you know many of the things that I strive to do in my life that kind of honored or, or showcased that. I feel like I I get a lot of purpose and and value out of out of helping others um, outside of what I do. I feel like that helps me more than it helps other people. I also just have always felt like if you are really given anything, we have a responsibility to give to others, especially those that um, don't have as much opportunity as as I do. And I always want to do more. I always feel like I'm not doing enough. And so I just like, you know, want to be able to, to give that back to other people. and. Usually what that, to me, what that looks like is love, kindness, service, and just treating people with dignity and respect. Mission 111 is a nonprofit that has just a, a large group of volunteers that want to help others thrive and empower others to do good in the world. And so it really started from just a group of people at a church that were, would go to Haiti and would volunteer locally and we kind of kept growing, decided to form a nonprofit to formally move forward with our efforts, specifically in Haiti, but now also locally and in the Philippines. But for Haiti, we started working with, um, or had for the last really 15 years, um, worked with a children's home. So about 12 foster kids who didn't have access to education, food, some came from really difficult situations. All of them came from difficult situations, some worse than others. Um, and so we, basically adopted that home and now have um, missionaries, volunteers there who, some who are from Haiti and some um, who are from the States, who help uh, run that and then also um, help provide food, education, medical care and other community needs to that specific community in Haiti. So we continue to go back as much as we can. There's been a a lot of violence and unrest there in the last few years and so it's been difficult. We, we found that with going to Haiti it, would, it also kind of inspired people to want to be want to do more in their own community. I have always loved singing and music and performing since uh, since I was very little and that's I think also partially because of my, my mom always sang and my uh, the rest of my family my uncle plays guitar and sing but then as I got older I realized I how much it a joy it brought to my life and so I sort of started learning guitar and then in the last few years I've started writing my own music. I went through a really bad summer. My aunt, beloved aunt passed away who you know everybody knows Cindy Gavilsky. It was like my mind got quiet enough to hear the music and so just started writing and I haven't stopped so now I just write a bunch of music and I play, play it out. Um, I cover songs too but um, locally you know restaurants, bars every now and then I'll play when I, when I can and I'm now actually working on 
um, recording some of those songs. I feel like music and being creative, it doesn't have to be music, it can be anything creative. It helps me do my other areas of life better. So it helps me be a better lawyer and a better friend and person because when we can express ourselves in a way that, that just kind of gets it all out or that we enjoy, there's like something he healing in that. There are lots of people in the world, but there's only one you and you have a unique voice that matters because even though you may have something similar to do or say as other that has already been done, there's gonna be someone or people out there that are only gonna hear it the way you say it. Believing in yourself and knowing that your voice matters, I think is the, the most important thing.